Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you all. Okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone, and today's word of the day is gallivant. Gallivant is a verb. Gallivant means to go or travel to many different places for pleasure. She spent her gap year gallivanting around Europe with her best friend. And my thought of the day is thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of a single candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. So share your happiness. Okay, remember boys and girls, our school-wide expectations. For, um, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Be safe in the classroom hallways, staircases, and outside areas of the school by walking to your destination safely in a straight and quiet line. No pushing, shoving, or horse playing while going to and from your classes. And are your specials or elective classes. Be respectful to yourself, your family, your peers, your teachers, your custodians, your bus drivers, and all the adult staff members that come to school to help support you each day. Have respect for your learning environment and school facilities such as the bathrooms, cafeteria areas, hallways, outside areas. Being quiet in the hallways and lobby areas while other classrooms are in session is a very respectful way of showing and doing your best for yourself and others. Be responsible for your actions. Take responsibility for your learning by working to improve each day, participating in class, turning, turning in completed classwork assignments and home learning, making good grades and making good choices. Take responsibility when you make poor choices and work towards making better choices in the future. So I hope that we are all following that. If you're interested in auditioning for the talent show, it will be on March 29th in the music room. Please make sure you are prepared um, and take it very seriously. Forms are available in the main office. Okay, <clears throat> I have a video for Women's History Month that I'd like to share with you guys today. In the United States, March is Women's History Month. It honors women's contributions in all areas of life, as scientists, inventors, artists, politicians, and more. The celebration began in 1978, when the School District of Sonoma, California, hosted a week-long recognition of women's accomplishments throughout history. The idea spread, and in 1980, President Jimmy Carter proclaimed the week of March 8th National Women's History Week. Six years later, an organization called the National Women's History Project convinced Congress to dedicate the entire month of March to women's history. Each year, a special focus for the month is declared by the National Women's History Project. For example, important artists like photographer Dorothea Lange and painter Mary Cassatt have been celebrated. Pioneers such as educator Mary McLeod Bethune 
Clara Barton, who founded the Red Cross, Amelia Earhart in aviation, and First Lady Michelle Obama have also been honored. Women's History Month celebrates unsung heroes too. The countless women who helped when our country was at war, women who run businesses and volunteer in their communities, single mothers who work and raise families, and the unknown writers and artists in history whose works were never made public, yet teach historians much about our country's past. Which women in your life would you like to celebrate? Okay, so we are celebrating Women's History Month. And this week is See Something, Say Something week. So boys and girls, if you see something, it's very important that you say something. And I know that we watched this video before, but I'd like to play it again. We want to learn in a safe environment. We want to come to school. To discover something new. To create. To design. To make new friends. That's where you come in. If you see something on our school campus that seems strange or unsafe, please tell a trusted adult immediately. If you hear any rumors or threats, or see any inappropriate posts on social media, we need you to come forward. We need everyone to help keep our school safe. Please think before you leave. Think before you speak. Think before you make wrong choices. Safety is something we should never play around with. Be kind. Be respectful to everyone you meet. School is for learning. School is for having fun. School is not a place for violence. We need everyone. You. 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 We need you. Join the movement. Join the movement. Hear something. See something. Say something. Do not take chances. Do not be a bystander. Do not be afraid to come forward. Do not wait. There are plenty of ways to report something unsafe. Tell your parents. Tell your teacher. Tell an administrator. Tell a trusted adult. Please say something. We need everyone to work together. Inbox us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or report a safety tip on our district net. Hear something? Say something? Then say something. Hear something. Say something. Say something. Okay, so again, if you see something, say something really important. And a couple more things about see something, say something. There will be a middle school pep rally on Friday in the afternoon. Uh, there is a middle school pep rally on Friday in the afternoon uh, to, to deal with see something, say something. So that is happening on Friday. If you want more information about that, you can see Miss. L uh, for more information about that. That is all my announcements. Oh, one last thing, uh, teachers, make sure that the forms are completely filled out for the EKG um, uh, papers that the parents are filling out before you turn them into the office. That is all my announcements, and I hope that everybody has a fantastic day today. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today. <laughs>